we sit down in one of the chairs. Oh yeah, that's good. Man, look at the size of this. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, wow, firm handshake. Oh, nice to meet you. Wow, strong, very strong. <laughs> ah, just someone doing a the makeup there. Oh, Pialiao. The one and only, the infamous Lee Baronet. Now we're in the toilet. Um, I don't actually need the toilet, so I don't know why I came in here. China has the world's largest high speed rail network. Not only that, is the doors closing? Hold on. Oh, welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, then my name is Jason, aka Wild Man Cobra, aka Mr. Yuis, aka Habawang. And now today, I'm getting on a Chinese bullet train and I'm very excited to see what it's like. And I'm gonna take you along with me for the ride. It's about a three hour journey. So let's take a look inside this Chinese bullet train. Everyone uh, checking the phones. Oh, that guy's got two phones there. Eh? Everyone swiping on Douyin, talking on WeChat, watching some Chinese drama, playing games. Ah, looks like she's doing some homework. Guys eating sweet corn. Interesting. Ah, guy okay. checking stocks. Mm. Comfortable neck cushion. Swiping Douyin, uh, doing a bit of work there on Excel. Quite a few people working on this train. I guess there's a lot of uh, business people on the train just sleeping. I deeply apologize for intruding on those people's uh, train journey. Just trying to show you what's going on here. Don't mind me. Uh, I guess this part with the brown chairs, this may be uh, business class. And then you get further to the end and you have the uh, first first class carriage here wow just look at this it is quite grand it's quite comfortable let me just sit in one of the chairs let me sit down in one of the chairs oh yeah that's good man look at the size of this look how much leg room you've got and i'm six foot by the way <sighs> man it's just uh, it's quite luxurious. Is this a train driving into the future? Wow. All right, let me get out of uh, let me get out of first class before they kick me out because uh, I don't have a first class ticket. Just stopped at another station here. Wow, you can see the track over there. You can see the train. China has the world's largest high-speed rail network not only that is the doors closing hold on not only that but it is the most extensively used as well um, which is even more impressive and by the end of 2020 they had a total length of track of 37,900 kilometers and it makes up for uh, two thirds of the world's total high speed rail. Two thirds, China. I mean, seriously, the world needs to catch up. What's going on? I mean, the UK, the UK, they had like the, they had the H, they had the HS2. And I mean, I don't know what they're doing with that. I don't know if it's still going ahead, their high speed rail. They've not laid a single track, I don't think. Whilst the rest of the world is still debating where should we put the track, how much it's gonna cost, should we do this, oh no, we can't go there, we can't do this. China's already built like another thousand, ten thousand kilometers of track while they're still talking about it. In the UK recently, the mayor of London has pledged to provide 4G <laughs> mobile coverage to every station in London's underground. And wait, hold on, 
When are they gonna do this by? Ah, that's right, they're gonna do this by the end of 2024. Three years from now. Meanwhile, in Shanghai, they have 5G mobile coverage across the entire network, which by the way, is the world's biggest metro system by root length. Do you know when they did this? When they had all this 5G coverage? They did this last year, 2020. But wait, hold on a second. Let's celebrate because London's gonna have 4G in three years time. Oh, Tian, what a joke. And even as embarrassing as this is, they've still not even begun to work on it. When are they gonna start? Can they, can they give a date? It just says, it will begin soon. <laughs> then look who we've got here, we've got this guy. It's the one and only, the infamous Lee Barrett. And here's a behind the scenes clip. Here's a behind the scenes clip of a Lee Barrett just editing uh, this video here. Let's get a close up of a Lee Barrett there. Oh. What do you think? What do you think? Subtitles. Doing your subtitles, yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah. What do you think of this train? Then? I love, I love the high-speed trains in, in China. They think they're pretty awesome, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Like you literally, I don't know. It's easy to work. You can get an internet connection and plenty of space. And what is like? What's the top speed of this train? Do you know? Oh, this particular one, I think it's one of the Fuxing ones. It's over 300 kilometers an hour. 350 or something like that, 300. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. Pretty fast, yeah. yeah. It's pretty fast. You have no idea you're going that kind of speed, do you? Yeah, and then some of the like the scenes out yeah. the window where you can see as well. It's just like yeah. so peaceful and quiet, right? Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> like so good. Yeah. All right, I'll leave you to it. Get back Cheers, to it. Man. I forgot where my seat is actually. Okay, it's got a little chest. What does it Um, chest. Yes. Oh wow. Yes, we, yes, we. Oh wow. We are the English school. Oh, you're in English school. In yeah, IC oh. department. IC department. Yes. Oh wow. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wow, firm handshake. Oh, nice to meet. You. Wow, strong, very strong. <laughs> ah, seems to be some uh, kind of army guy. Right. The toilet here. Toilet. Let's check out the toilet. Is it free? Oh, it is free. Oh, they have a Western toilet. I was expecting a squat toilet. I should lock the door. Now we're in the toilet. I don't actually need the toilet, so I don't know why I came in here. Okay, let's head out now. Let me flush the toilet so it doesn't seem weird that I came in. I came in for no reason. Okay. Oh, here we go. I should also wash my hands now. Even though I didn't actually use the toilet, but I don't want people to know that I just went in there to film, so I'm gonna wash my hands. <laughs> We are traveling from Suzhou Bay to Huangshan Bay. Uh, it's about a three hour journey and uh, so far I'm enjoying it. Ah, just someone doing the makeup there. How Man. Hey, it's just like, look at, look at the floor, it's immaculate. It's lovely to be honest with you. It's quite, uh, it's quite peaceful as well on this train. I'm probably the only annoying one walking around with a camera talking the, to the camera. Just stopped at another uh, station here. There's so many stations and it's so quick. When I get off a, when I get off a train, I always feel like so nervous that it's just gonna drive off. I don't dare stay out like more than like three seconds because I think that the train's gonna drive off.
Here's my ticket, so my regular seat costs 231 RMB. We're we'll getting back on the train before it drives away. Oh, you can see another train coming in there. Wow, let's get a shot of the front of the train. If anyone knows what specific train this is, then tell me in the comments below. Right, let me hurry up and get back on. Wow, so look there, you can see the speed that we're going. 304 kilometers per hour. Wow, okay, we have arrived. And that was the end of our journey. That was the end of a high speed bullet train journey. More adventures to come from the channel. And I will see you in the next one. I'm signing off. Signing off.